I have known Stacy for six years. She was my coach for four, and now we're working together for two. So I've known her for six. I'm going on my 19th year of knowing Stacy, McCullough Weiss. Uh, I've known her since my junior year of high school. She actually recruited me uh, to come to Drexel. Well, I've known Stacy for, I think, 20 years, maybe a little bit more. Um, as a person, definitely very caring, um, very passionate. Um, definitely goes above and, and beyond for you know those around her. Selfless. Um, you know, does whatever she has to do for you know us to be successful, both on and off the court. I mean, I think one of the biggest reasons why Stacy is such a great coach now is because she knows what it means to work hard from being a walk-on to getting on the team. Like, she put in all that extra work to get to where she wants to be, and she knows what it takes to be successful and to be a high-level coach. Uh, she's tremendous. I, you know, I can't say enough about her work ethic. I think that's the one thing when you think of Stacy. She, she's a worker. You know, she is working nonstop to make this program better at all levels. The one thing is she has passion, and she has passion for Drexel University, and, and she, you can feel it when you're around her and you're with her and she's talking about the school and she's speaking to student athletes, you feel that. And she can talk about the co-op, she did the co-op program, so everything about her um, is Drexel, you know, so I feel like when you think of, when I think of Drexel, I think of uh, Stacy. Um, walking on, she appreciated everything um, that she, she got. She appreciated the opportunity, she appreciated just being here as a Dragon such a hard-working player and um, did the, you know, worried about the details and that's what propelled her to, to, to become a scholarship player and a, a contributor on the court, not just even earn a scholarship. She, you know, she played significant minutes. I came to Drexel just because I loved the university and what it academically had to offer. Um, after my first year, I was really interested in playing basketball. I had that itch. You know, I played AU, played in high school, and I missed playing a lot. And lucky for me, my AAU coach was actually Denise Dillon's roommate at Villanova. So she called Denise and said, listen, I have a player that could add to your roster. Um, and Denise welcomed me uh, with open arms, which was amazing. So I played, I stayed on for my first year. And then after my first year, um, Denise offered me a full scholarship for my rest of my time here, which obviously I was extremely grateful for. Um, I mean, I think since I've, I've been here, she's definitely done everything she's you know, everything she could to help me become the player and person that I am today. Um, so I, you know, I couldn't thank her enough for those things that she's done both on and off the court, you know, whether it be getting individual workouts in, doing film, um, just having conversations off the court about life and just having her there to empower me and, you know, motivate me every step of the way has been, you know, a blessing. And the pride she has in, in our program, um, you see it every day um, in, in, in an email she sends to how she is on the court um, coaching our, our student athletes. She, she just takes such great pride in each step. I think she appreciated the next step and, and, and never got ahead of herself. Um, and now she's, you know, she's kind of the epitome of, of what we, what, what, what dragons are. Um, and we use that, we use her as, as an example um, when, we, when we talk to our staff. Um, as a player, she really helped me out really just understanding the sets and knowing why we're doing what we're doing, like helping my, increasing my IQ. And then as now with working with her, she helps me really understand like why certain girls need to be doing things and like help us build certain relationships with people too. Denise and Amy, I absolutely adored as a player. Um, the family atmosphere that they had and just the way that they cared about you. Um, I remember when I tore my ACL and, you know, coaches would come to my doctor's appointments with me. And um, I went home from my surgery and the first uh, piece of mail that I had was from Amy. And it was cookies just saying like, feel better soon and get back here, you know, get back to school. So that type of relationships that you have with your coaching staff and why would I want to leave? Well, when she recruited me, she came on a home visit and her and Denise were driving to my house and they told me that I lived near a farm which is not true at all. I live near you know, a shopping center, mall, a bunch of places. And they ended up like in a farm eating at some like pork restaurant and she's a vegetarian. So I don't really know how they got there, but to this day she tells me I live on a farm, which is not true. She could definitely walk better in high heels than anybody on our staff. If you've seen Stacy and, and she dresses to the T. So she's definitely got the best dress on staff. Um, Stacy is a diva. She's got glitter on everything. She's all into super shiny stuff and she always has the best luggage. So Drexel's my home. The way that I feel about this university and this department, I can remember championship games seeing 
other coaches from other sports and our administration and people who work at the DAC, uh, Teresa Gilbert, who still comes back, um, who worked here for us in women's basketball. This is my home, this is my passion, and I love being at Drexel.